Hi everybody, Steve from Steve's Makerspace, and I am again in P5JS looking at mandalas that I made. And you're probably saying, enough already with the mandalas, Steve. But how can I not do these mandalas? I'm sorry. When I can make stuff like this, I have to make it, and then I have to show it off. There are a few special things about this compared to my morphing mandala that I've shown you before. One is that this is using a certain range of colors. So if I do a new one, you'll see this one looks like it's gonna be blue and green, maybe a little purple. But I can turn the chromatic, make it false, and now we're gonna get full colors. This will be random 360 degrees from the color wheel. The other thing about this is it's additive, meaning that I'm not clearing the background each time. So if I do false, oh, and I've got uh, lines on. Let me fix that. Filling equals true. So here's the morphing mandala that I've shown you before. So this can do the morphing mandala. Do a fresh one here. If I do black lines equals true, then I'm doing fill but with a black outline and it sort of makes a stained glass sort of look. So here's black lines off, additive on, and it's filling instead of just doing lines. So we get something like this. This is chromatic as false. Let's try changing chromatic to true. So we get something like this. Let's do a new art to see what else, what other colors we get. So that's kind of interesting. Let's go back to filling is false. And so this one is just using the outline. Oh, that's so nice. So if I do new and, do, and pause it right away, you'll see that it's doing an outline instead of filling. And of course, as with the previous mandalas, you can click on the canvas and hit P to pause, and then uh, S to save a JPEG. And now we have a JPEG that we can save, and then N for new art. And there we go. That's really nice. I also have this version, which makes four mandalas instead of one. So this is interesting because they overlap each other. Let's do new art, see what else we get. This also has the additive versus not additive. Let's change that to true and we get something like this. Let's do the filling, filling the petals versus outlining the petals. We'll make that false and we get something like this. It's kind of interesting that the outline of the petals, when it's doing that, it actually takes more processing power than to fill the petals. I'm not sure why that is. We can also change this overlapping. So if I do 0.4 instead of 1.9 or whatever it was I just had, it's overlapping more. It doesn't look like much, to tell you the truth. Let's try switching it to filling instead of the lines. And so this is more overlapping, but filling. So it doesn't always give you a beautiful thing to look at. It kind of comes and goes. Sometimes it's kind of ugly and sometimes it's like, oh wow, that's cool. So if you see something you like, you can pause it and say, okay, I'll take a picture of that. I also have the black lines. So let's do that to true. And that'll give me something like this. Let's do additive is false. This one does not have the monochromatic option in it, so all the colors are random. Everything I'm showing you, there will be links in the video description to the code. You can play with this in your browser for free. Here is another project I worked on recently. If I do new art and then pause it real quick, where I would normally have one petal, I'm actually having a whole circle of petals. So it's almost a mandala of mandalas. I don't like it quite as much as the other morphing mandalas, but it does give you some interesting things to look at. Let's change monochrome to true, and now we're getting some monochromaticism with this one. We hit new again, and we get a different color scheme. We have the lines. If we do false, it does filling of the petals instead of outlines of the petals, and we get this. Put this back to false for random colors. So this is kind of interesting. Let's look at another project. I've done a whole lot of projects. So here is my mini mandala maker that I've shown you before. This has a color range and this was filling all the petals, but I added something where you could do lines instead of filling the petals. So we're getting this, I'll do new, 
we get something like this. Let me reduce the uh, range a little bit. Do 200 instead of 250. And then there's also, you can do a mix of fill and lines as well. Although I don't care for this one as much. I think it's better if you do the lines or the fill. And we could increase the color range to 360 if you want to get uh, all the colors like that. Go back to fill. So this is another one. That's my mandala many lines option, I call this. This one is making spirographs. You can see here that this is a spirograph. And so it's drawing a whole bunch of spirographs in a circle. And the spirograph for each level is unique. So kind of interesting, not my favorite, but it's something. Here's another thing I tried. This is just doing the petal shapes, but putting them randomly around the canvas. I'll pause that a couple of times. No, this is sort of okay. I call this one Flower Maker Additive. And then there's this one. This one is called Morphing Flowers Monochrome. I can do different shape types. So right now it's doing petals, but I can change this to circles. We get this, or we can do quadrilateral shapes like so. Now this is additive at the moment. I can change this to additive as false. Now we get something like this. Let's change the this back to circles. So this is kind of nice. It's chromatic right now. You can see there's a range of 150. So if I change that to 360, you'd see a bigger range of colors. Put it down to maybe 180. Go back to petals. There's your petals. Filling is true. Let's go just to lines. So here's outlines instead of filling the petals. We'll change that to circles. Let's switch over to quads. Let's uh, reduce the number of flowers I'm drawing to say 15. So we can see that a little bit better. Let's go back to circles. And filling is true. And oh yeah, and then solid versus see-through. So I can switch this to solid. And then we could do that with the petals or with the quads. This is kind of a weird one. This is a circles, lines, additive. Okay, enough on that one. So that's all the projects I wanted to show you. Some of the monochromaticism was uh, a little tricky. That was the, the trickiest bit. If you're interested in knowing about how I did certain things, you can ask me in the comments. You can look at my previous videos. Let's do, uh, oh my goodness, let's do some new art. Let me know in the comments which one of these is your favorite. This is my favorite. It does use some processing power, just to warn you, I can hear my computer fan ramping up. I want to remind you that NFTs use a lot of fossil fuels, so be wary of getting involved with NFT art. If you like this video, please give it a like. Consider subscribing to the channel. Ring the bell for notifications. Comments are always welcome. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye now. Steve's Makerspace.